four big tires and a wheelie bar. Hey, this is Jang from the Friendly Forums at UltimateRC.com and you're looking at the Traxxas Stampede 4x4 VXL. It's one of the last hot releases in Land RC for 2010. It is the size of a standard two-wheel drive Stampede, but it's based on the Slash 4x4 chassis. At least the Slash 4x4 platform. It actually has a shortened chassis in order to make it have the wheelbase of the original Stampede, but the front and rear clips remain basically the same. They just have to rearrange the electronics a little bit in order to get them to fit into this shorter chassis. For instance, the receiver box has been relocated to the front, but that does of course still house a 2.4 GHz receiver from the Traxxas Link radio system. It has the waterproof servo, the VXL 3S waterproof speed control, and the Valenion 3500 kV motor, which has been geared down with an 11-tooth pinion. Included in the package is a 7-cell Traxxas PowerCell 3000 mAh nickel metal hydride battery pack and a basic wall charger to go with it. Now here's a feature that I like a lot. These new shock guards, they are actually bolting on to the slash 4x4 arms and they help to protect the lower eyelets of the shocks as well as the shock shafts while also capturing the lower eyelets. So they help protect the shocks from direct impacts from rocks and dirt clods while also helping to keep the shocks on more securely. Another thing that's different about the Stampede 4x4 versus the Slash is the front body mount. You can see that the posts are extended way back farther towards the rear and that allows the truck to be mounted with a standard Stampede body, the monster truck style. Back at the back, as I mentioned before, there's the wheelie bar, which is the adjustable type that Traxxas came up with. You just clip it in depending upon what height you want and how tall you want your wheelies to be. Speaking of wheelies, It does wheelies on command from a standing start, though not so much at speed unless you go to a faster battery pack. Here I'm actually not running the 7 cell pack that's included with it, I'm running a 2 cell LiPo, which should have roughly the same amount of power. I just didn't have the patience to wait for that battery to charge up. I started unboxing it before I even left the checkout counter, by the time I got to my pit table I was ready to run. With the Valenion motor, the truck is plenty quick and plenty fast, even with this low gearing, which is your standard gearing for safe running on all terrains, it's what comes out of the box, and even with this relatively slow battery. Now you can put up to a 3-cell in here without changing anything. You can also re-gear it for a top speed that Traxxas claims to be over 60 miles per hour with a powerful enough pack and really tall gearing. I don't know, I like it like this. Traxxas is getting really good at outfitting their vehicles just right out of the box. The suspension setup is working well. It has linear springs on it, unlike the Slash 4x4, which had those progressive springs that I hated. And the Slash 4x4 arms are equivalent to the width of the Stampede two-wheel drive rear arms. It's kind of like having a Jang wide mod on the front of the vehicle right out of the box. That makes it very stable and rolls over way less than the two-wheel drive Stampede ever did. Now the Valenion motor is sensorless and the truck is geared to go 30 miles per hour out of the box, so you can't expect this to go at really crawling speeds, but it is able to putt around pretty slowly for going over really rough terrain or just having more of a scale-style driving experience. Of course, whenever you want, you can just dial up the power with your trigger finger. Now the Stampede 4x4 is a small monster truck. It is not designed to be run on a racing track. But when has design ever stopped me from doing something? Here it is, running on a racing track. It does just fine. The extra width that you get from having the equivalent of Stampede or Rustler rear arms all the way around really makes it stable. I was not able to traction roll it except for a couple times when I was really getting in hard into a damp area of track that had a lot of traction. The suspension is a little bit soft, it's a little bit plush, but the dampening rate of the shocks is appropriate for the spring rate. So it's not bouncy and the handling isn't too lazy either. The only thing you have to watch out for is braking. The brakes are really strong and there's a lot of rotating mass in those big tires. 
So if you hit the brakes hard in midair, the truck will rotate forward and it will do forward flips. You have to be careful when you're in the air to wait until kind of the last second or just go very light on the brakes. Otherwise that happens. There we go. That's more like it. Up, oh, battery's dumping. Time for me to wrap up. The truck is the Traxxas Stampede 4x4 VXL. And I like it a lot. You can go slow with it. You can go fast with it. You can go over really rough terrain. You can go on a track. You can go literally anywhere with it. It has way more traction than the two-wheel drive version before it, of course, thanks to the four-wheel drive. It has very good handling out of the box, and it drives with some serious attitude, and yet it's still controllable. The only thing that's rough about buying a Stampede 4x4 VXL is the price. It costs about $410, $420 at the street as of the time of this video, but I do believe that you get what you pay for. Brushless, four-wheel drive, single motor, single battery, waterproof, 2.4 gigahertz, all-terrain bashing truck with good durability and a lot of parts support. There are gonna be a bunch more Stampede 4x4 videos coming up on my channel, so look out for those. And be sure to come on over and discuss the Stampede 4x4 in the Stampede forum at ultimatercom